We're going to go live now to Etobicoke, where the Premier is making an announcement. Let's listen in. Down at Queen's Park. Uh, Minister Surma, Etobicoke gal, so it's great to see you, Kinga. And uh, Minister uh, Tangri as well. And MPPs, Christine Hogarth, another Etobicoke gal. And, and Rudy Cazetto, Sharif Sabawe, Deepak Anon, Natalia Kusindova. And I, I don't think I missed anyone there. So uh, that's the team Mississauga and, and team Etobicoke. I also uh, want to welcome uh, Kieran uh, Ha. That's uh, the person that's really going to make things happen. And everyone from Ellis Dawn as well. Of course, Michael Lindsay, the team from Infrastructure Ontario. Uh, Michael has one, I, gotta, I have to tell you, Michael has one of the toughest jobs uh, in the province. He's responsible, along with uh, Minister Surma. This is historic, $190 billion of infrastructure. No matter if it's the hospitals or the roads or the schools or highways, uh, they're, they're doing incredible work. So thank you, Kinga and, and Michael, for that. Of course, Anthony Dale from the Ontario Health Association, Chief Salt, I should say Councillor. I keep calling you Chief because you were Chief for so, so many years. But Councillor, I know, I'll keep calling you Chief. I told him how good looking he is with that new uh, blazer and everything. Oh, but incredible, Councillor. You do so much great work and I consider you a, a friend. And all the elected officials joining us today, and Peter Gilgan. What, what a great family. Where did you just, there you go, Peter. Uh, thank you for everything you've done. And you know, you go down Hospital Row, you go anywhere, and it has your family's name there. That says everything. <laughs> Second and none in philanthropy. And, you know, with, without uh, philanthropists like Peter and another name comes to my mind, Carlo Fidani and, and Teresa, these projects wouldn't, wouldn't happen. And uh, we're very, very grateful again for your generosity. And of course, I want to give a big shout out uh, to Carly. Carly and Caroline and everyone at Trillium Health for hosting us today. And Trillium Health Partners operates the largest and busiest hospital in the province. I think it's in the country, isn't it, Carly? I think so, too. And over the next 20 years, it's expected that demand for service will double here. That, that's staggering. We have over 800,000 people coming to our province, and we're the fastest growing region in North America, bar none. And that's why our government is working closely with the team at Trillium to modernize and expand its hospitals as part of the largest hospital infrastructure renewal project in Ontario's history. I can tell you at the uh, site here over there, uh, they've helped me out, helped my family out for, for many, many years. So uh, what, a, what a great uh, team. Our government billions of dollars to build the brand new Peter Gilgan uh, Mississauga Hospital. And when complete, it'll be Canada's largest hospital. And here in Etobicoke, we're investing $1.3 billion to expand the Queensway Health Center. The new Gilgan Family uh, Queensway Health Center patient, I'm getting tongue twisted today, I don't know why, which is being built right here behind us, will be transformational space that will serve our growing communities for generations to come. It will add 350 new beds to the system, including private rooms for complex care and rehabilitation services. It will connect more people here, right here in Etobicoke and in Mississauga, neighboring communities, to convenient health care closer to home. And friends, right across this province, we're building a stronger, more resilient health care system. We're investing, think of this, never been done anywhere in this country, we're investing over $50 billion in investments to support more than 50 new hospitals or hospital expansions. No matter where you live in the province, you're either getting a brand new hospital or you're getting an expansion of a hospital. We've made significant progress to bolster the frontline healthcare workforce, and these are pretty staggering numbers. Since 2018, uh, we've registered over 80,000 nurses and 10,800 doctors, 17,500 nurses alone last year. We have 30,000 nurses in colleges and universities uh, right across our province. We're investing, as, uh, as the minister announced, Sylvia announced $546 million to connect 600,000 more people to primary care teams. And we're expanding community, community surgical and diagnostic centers to connect people 
to the surgeries they need sooner. We're working together with all of our healthcare partners to deliver convenient and connected care across our province. I want to thank you again, everyone at Trillium that's working day in and day out. And thank you for inviting me here today. It's always a special event when we come here. And I can't wait to come back for the official opening. And thank you, and God bless the people of Ontario. Thank you so much. We've been listening to the Premier making a funny announcement uh, for health care out in uh, Etobicoke at the Queensway Health Centre. We'll have more on that announcement coming up uh, throughout the morning and afternoon. Right now, there's a, a series of announcements that are coming out. Also, Ontario launching uh, a grid innovation fund, a program that's going to leverage new technologies uh, to make the province's electricity grid more efficient.